Welcome back to my series on having a narc free new year. And for those of you who don't know, it's where I'm reading excerpts out of my book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People. If you want the links for it, it is going to be down below. And also if you missed other videos in this series, I will have them at the tail end of this video so you can just click on through. With that said, let's get on with it. All right, today we're gonna to talk about reality distortion and it is coming from page 58 of chapter three on faulty childhood programming. So for many of us, there was some level of reality distortion within our own homes. We learned to cope and survive with a narcissist by distorting reality. Because a narcissist reality is distorted in order to remain in their reality, you have to play along with their distortion. This usually involves a betrayal of self, colluding with being ignored, basically more or less blurring boundaries by saying in word and deed, yeah, you're right. You know what's best. No, your pain is more important than mine. I'm not going to express my feelings because that would be selfish. You're the priority, so you come first. It's all about you. If there was alcoholism or abuse in the family, going on behind closed doors, but out in public, there's pressure to put on a happy face, again, distorting reality, then it's about pretending for things to be what they are not. It's about pretending that you're happy and everything's okay because you have to play along with a false image that the narcissist wants to portray, project, and maintain in order for you to exist in their world. As a matter of survival, you learn to say yes when you mean no. You learned to do what you don't want in order to get what you do want without risking loss or rejection. And as a result, we don't ever set healthy boundaries, which would have respected our own feelings and our own desires. Again, you might have tried relentlessly as a child to do this or even in an adult relationship and you learned when you were dealing with a narcissist that it was all just pointless. You learned helplessness and hopelessness because nothing you said or did changed outcomes. They were hell bent on getting their way and winning every time, no matter what the cost. Why? I'm sorry to break it to you but you're not going to win with a narcissist. They might tell you that they want you to win, but it's a lie. They might convince you otherwise. They might have even convinced themselves. It's all to create an illusion. And they will project these false images, having fake epiphanies and having fake recoveries, usually for up to six months before the mask finally comes off. They will do these things in order to bait you back into blurring your boundaries and playing your role in their drama. They desperately need you to help them to prop up their false facade. But back to this childhood programming for reality distortion. You didn't put your boundaries out there because deep down, you knew that it would cost you. It would cost you losses and you chose to lose yourself rather than to lose them. If you're interested in purchasing this book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People, remember it is on Kindle ebook version. You can get it on audiobook at Audible, and you can also get it in print at Amazon.com. And for those of you who like to sit back and watch and listen, well, I've got the video version over at my Etsy shop. Links for all of these are going to be found down below. And if you want to watch the next video available on narcissism, click here. Thank you all for your support.